uh, show worry, they know something. That's why immediately after the uh, the after they succeeded in chasing the military out, they, 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 they left the country. I'm not saying it's complacent, but because it was they failed to organize. Even when Ghani fire or later come to struggle to get the same before, no, it was too late. Because all they wanted to military must go, military must go. Then what if they go? That's the question we should be asking. There's something those people know. That is why when Shawari decided to come back, he refused to join them. Every day because all of them are the same because he knew them. They've been into churches all along. He decided not to go with them. He has a reason why he did that. If you are wondering why he was locked up, why Namdi Kanu was locked up, the question you should ask before there is that if Namdi Kanu and Shawari have 100% freedom before the election, how would the result of the election turn out to be? And he had nothing to do with treason or he said this, he said that. These people who are leading us are not stupid. They are not incompetent. Whatever that is happening, it is deliberate. So if you don't want to plan, fine. Go ahead that's because you have all the answers. If you win, now all of us now we win too. But I believe that I don't have the answer. So those people who are fighting in Boronu, every news are going, they don't have the answers. But it's just fair that there's an injustice going on. That is how we have to come together. There's no better time to do the work. It is because we are lazy to actually do the work. That was also, you know, go work, you know the work. Because planning involves how do we raise money? How do we empower people? How do we change the psyche of these people? That is what planning entails. And guess what? It takes time and resources. We don't want to do that. That's also, let's go to work, let's go to work. Who you want to fight? Like, okay, we should go on the street. Then what? After we don't come off the street, we don't agitate, we don't revolution. What? So instead of us to actually pay attention and see what, how these people are moving, know our problem. We are, look, nobody's better off. I, I live in, in Texas. Do you think I'm happy living here? No, I'm not. If you must know. Why? Is, is it a kind for me to be speaking away from us also on top of rock? That's not a kind. So, yes, I'm, I'm not for Biafra. You are not for one Nigeria. But guess what? What we have in common is what is stopping us from achieving whatever the difference is. If you say, I know someone has an agenda, so I see, but man, everybody has an agenda. We are all living human beings. Why would not go get agenda? But why is it that you are not achieving agenda? I'm not achieving man. He is not achieving his. It's because there's something called power structure. I keep saying it. The same group of people who fought the civil war that put you, make you start thinking the way you are thinking are the same people who wrote the national constitution that we don't agree with today. And the same people that formed the political parties. How do you build those kind of system? It's been 20, 24 years going strong. And it's beginning to take shape. It's beginning to... They don't say, oh, you support that, Kukuto, you support that, this. What is the difference between them now? It is taking shape. It's 24 years strong. The military had a better of 23 years. The so-called civilian that we are today for are in charge now. Anything different. No different. So if we want to plan, we have there's a reason why I say, oh, there's a reason now. There's a reason I should not plan with OB. They are both from the same region. They both want the same freedom if you, have, if you want to look from, from that angle. But the, the reason is because OB is already an insider. So we don't we don't think that's that's what Ferrari that I think is uh Ajabu said. We don't how can we think when we have political pundits that we listen to every day, when we have journalists that we think they are the best, uh, CM says something. That he reads so that he can actually analyze it from his own point of view. And be, because and people say, oh, uh, man, come here to say, oh, because you come here to philosophize, you wrote so much book, you want to philosophize this. That's stupidity. If you don't read, how do you think? It's true. You, you think so for dumb. people who are thinking for you? It, uh, CM is proud of his reading every day here, and nobody can challenge me. You know why? Even if you can't challenge him, the top 1% reader in the world just like two hours every fucking day. 